There is a famous wrestler who has lost himself and committed a crime that shocked the whole world. What pushed him to commit this kind of crime? In this video we'll talk about Chris Benoit, the great and famous wrestler who killed his own family. Before we get back to the story, if you are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button for you to always be updated with life amazing stories. Chris Benoit is one of the most popular wrestlers in the world. He is a Canadian and born on May 21, 1967. At 12 years old he found wrestling his hobby despite his small height, although he was small it did not hinder him. Instead, he practiced to become a pro wrestler and at the age of 18 in 1985 Benoit's career began as a pro wrestler at the Stampede Wrestling Promotions in Canada and lasting for four years until 1989. Here, he won seven titles and he landed in the wrestling ring despite his small height so he was named the Dynamite. After that he went to Japan and here, he is still training for one year in a dojo so he can improve his ability as a wrestler. Wearing a mask here as a costume for his new personality. And in 1990, he won his first major championship. Benoit enjoyed the success he achieved so he returned to Japan and continued the game wrestling until 1995. Despite this, in 1992, Benoit stepped up to World Championship Wrestling, the world's largest wrestling league from America. But he found it difficult to lift his hobby because he was small compared to other wrestlers. At first, his fight and exposure became limited so Benoit thought about his way of noticing and to improve his body muscles. Benoit has been working on weightlifting to improve his muscles and also created a food program to achieve his body goals but was not good enough. Then, Benoit began to use a forbidden drug and it was injecting steroids to his body. Steroids are a synthetic chemical and it is unnatural and has a detrimental effect on our body. It is commonly used by athletes to speed up their bodies from fights and exercise, and it also helps to expand their muscles. But mostly it has many possible side effects to the body of the person, often it destroys internal organs such as the liver and kidney. It can also cause stroke and most of all it can also impact the mental health of the person who used it. With Benoit's pro wrestling career going on until 2007, he achieved his long dream tenure as a champion. His misery began when he appeared to be champion at the WCW World Heavyweight Champion and World Heavyweight Champion and WWE. One of his trademark moves was the diving headbutt, where he climbed the ring and then jumped over a lying opponent with his head. The world has recognized this style despite the danger it may pose to his health. Despite the success he endured in the world of wrestling, Benoit had his own family with his wife Martina. They had two children, but their relationship won't last so they also separated a few years later. After that he remarried and it was Nancy, a famous wrestler. They had a child but the couple's relationship was not good. Nancy tries to break up because of Benoit's strange behavior. She said Benoit often acts wild in their house or speaks out loud against her. Despite this, Benoit promised that he would try to change to secure their relationship and for the sake of their only child. But it's not easy for Benoit to change because he was undergoing severe depression when his best friend who was also a pro wrestler died and it was Eddie Guerrero. Eddie Guerrero died of heart failure and this incident quickly destroyed Chris Benoit's character. He always had it with fights and training and gave him advice. His world collapsed and brought him so much grief that it lasted for several years. Despite his desire to change, his negative thinking worsened. Even more disturbing is his decision in life that Benoit has become more and more violent to his family and this can be proven by a disturbing event. On June 23, 2007, due to depression brought on the swelling of the steroids as well as the long-term effect when he made headbutt in the wrestling game. Unfortunately, the explosion of his personality occurred right inside their home with his wife and child. In those days, the couple had a great deal of contention to make Benoit's eyesight dark and lose himself. Benoit could no longer cope with the turmoil of his life, so it would have pushed him to commit a crime. Because of his anger at his wife, he tied it inside her house as soon as Benoit climbed into his room and with him is some kind of medicine that he injects his wife with. His wife tried to beg, but eventually Benoit's character was swallowed up in darkness. The once kind and loving husband was a full-time monster who was ready to kill. Benoit injected his wife with three classes of medicine, all overdose reasons to his wife dying immediately after an hour. The next day, Benoit continued and his son was next, but he only used one drug so his son did not die immediately. Because of this Benoit was bored so he took a rope, and a few minutes later he choked his own son and was left dead. For two days, Benoit's life was forever destroyed as he had his two eyes on his wife and son's lifeless body. 
He's hopeless again because he was alone so his life is worthless. Then Benoit attacked himself with different kinds of drugs. Just a few minutes before drugs finally entered his body and eventually his body became numb, Benoit took the leash used to choke his son shortly after his life was over. On June 25th, 2007 before Benoit's fight, WWE employees thought to visit his family at their house and here they found three bodies of Benoit family without life. The whole world was shocked by this news because Benoit was a famous wrestler. Police arrived at their home and the investigation progressed. Here, police found a different class of items inside each body. Based also in the investigations police know of the time of the death of each body and here a mass theory of police was formed. Benoit's entire family's death was due to a murder-suicide. They found that Benoit first killed his wife and son before finally pursuing his own life. It took months for the police to investigate and aim to find out Benoit's true reason for committing a heinous crime. Investigators have come up with different beliefs looking at Benoit's addiction to the drug steroids, while others are blamed for the deep depression Benoit has experienced. But mainly, the investigation revealed the brain damage Benoit got due to wrestling and it was caused by head injuries due to Benoit's intense head impact in the field of wrestling. And this brain damage coupled with deep depression eventually ruined his mental health which also gradually diminished his sanity. Finally, we must take note that mental health issues are a sensitive and serious problem in our society. Most people just laugh at it or are not believed because they have never experienced it. But the fact that millions of people go through such trials is beyond our consciousness. They may be our acquaintances, friends, relatives or our own spouse and children. So, we should just keep them in touch and talk to them so we can save them from certain harm. Our first action was a neat and genuine intention. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to keep updated with life amazing stories.